Good morning everyone. Um, I thought I'd pop on before the video starts. Now then, um, Hive uh, Overland, which you've probably seen in a few of my other videos where we've, uh, a group of friends of mine have started up building trucks. Now, um, I'm not part of the team, I'm not paid, I'm just pimp them out. <laughs> They're all good friends of mine and I just, you know, help support them. So, you know, this is not a paid promotion for me or anything like that. So, I know a few other companies think I'm sort of like involved and can be a bit funny me, but honestly, I, I just pimp everyone out. Um, if you follow my um, my group on Facebook, which is Lorry Life Campus, uh, I share everybody's group. So, yeah, what I'm talking about today is we have got availability for some build slots coming up. Now, I know there's a lot of people waiting for build slots with a lot of companies and you know there's the lot most companies now are sort of you know minimum two years to four years you know it's getting really really busy and um, we're not here to steal people's work as such where um, the idea was of the group which is now this is why I'm coming on because it's expanded a bit um, now we've got it's going to break up into two parts now. So we're having two facilities. So one where we're doing the work now and we just finish off one of the last big trucks. Um, so that's gonna be all the fabrication part, clean down, strip down, build, put a box on, and then it'll get shipped to another area um, over hallway where the fit out will be done. And that'll be done by Unimpressed Jeff. Now, if you're in the van life market, you know Unimpressed Jeff. Um, he's the master guru with electrics and everyone loves Jeff so there's no you know no introduction there you've only got to go and watch his videos he's done a few um, already and I'll put a link in the description to them to their channel um, but there so with this end my end down here um, we can do all the fabrication so we can split it as well so we are looking for full builds as possible but we will take in at this end, we will do fabrication work. So the fab team down here. So if you want just all the boxes making and bits and bobs like that, and then just an empty box, we can build them. Um, we can do that as well. Um, Jeff at his end, he's just gonna do full interiors, full insulations, full everything, you know, everything you want. So, you know, to, to tailor spec to your needs. So yeah, that's basically it. We've got at the Overlander show we must have five or six people wanting to do full builds. Now the problem was nearly all of them haven't got a vehicle. And uh, I mean like one unfortunately, bless them, they want a left hooker um what was it? Fuso. Now finding one of them in the UK is just near nigh on impossible. Um, and so this is the problem we've got we don't want to be held up waiting and waiting and waiting so obviously it is a case of first come first serve put a deposit down and you can get your build slot um, you know unfortunately it has to be that way it could take two years before you find the right truck so um, but yeah you know so like I was saying we have got some build slots and we're just finishing off this big truck so any time in the next sort of two months we can start production again um, we've got a few of the trucks now with the boxes as you've seen from the videos and you'll see at the end of this video um, my mates Dave's his dad so we can do a, a cheaper version box if you just on a really tight budget so we can um, help you as well source one off, off eBay or somewhere and that'll be getting like a, a lorry box we will literally strip it strip it off you know the top drop the length, you know, the height down, drop the, the length, take like all the doors off and seal it all up. So you've got a proper overland box made out of like a lorry box. That is a cheap, cheap option of doing, like you'll see it Daf's, you know, the Daf on the end of this video. It looks amazing, you know, I mean, when he's dropped it and he's recapped it all and put all the cappings around and he's put all the bars on the roof and it's not painted yet, it looks like a brand new box. <laughs> um, I mean, they've got to be careful. Some of them can be a bit delaminated now if they're a bit old, but them boxes are designed to last a long time. Um, so, yeah, that is an option. Or we can go for the full, like my truck, it's a fully insulated GRP, both sides, 
with the phone we can do it that way if you want to so yeah we're open to any ideas you want so I thought I'd come on give people the option if you are looking for um, a small little company then you know we can uh, help you and um, we're sort of based in Lincolnshire and it'll be sort of Lincolnshire and Yorkshire so sort of Hull way and we're based sort of Horncastle way in Lincolnshire so yeah we've got um, like I say end of the month it should be in the moment. I'm saying the November. I think we should be freed up then with this one big truck out of the way. We've got a couple of little dabs in at the moment, having finishing touches and stuff. But um, yeah, we can help you from everything from you know even paint as well. Um, so, but yeah, give me a contact. Um, just drop an email. My email's on on here. Um, contact me direct. I said I'll be there sort of. Uh, spokesperson type thing so I'm the customer services for Hive Overland uh, I'll drop an email uh, Hive, Hive Overland into the um, into the bottom of here and then uh, just message me and then we'll chat and see what you do and like I say we're ready to go so if you've got a vehicle and you're waiting drop us a line so and we can talk right catch you later enjoy the rest of the video it's only a little one unfortunately i'm not traveling at the moment much so i think i've got one more vlog after this um i think although this might be the last vlog actually uh, it will be um and then i've had a sort of a couple of weeks off really um not been going anywhere i've stayed at work for the last two weeks and saving money up for a week away you will be seeing an upcoming video of uh, whitby goth weekend so we're going up there, we're doing a week's tour with the kids on holiday, we're travelling around all Yorkshire again, and we're going to end up um, at Whitby Abbey, right on the top, um, with a, a camper group. I think it was Living the Cam Camper Life group they are, uh, on Facebook. So we're meeting up with them, there's, I think it's about 70 vehicles, so it should be good fun. So that's an up and coming review, you know, uh, video for you to come. So, so yeah, there might be a week where it might be a bit quiet, but we'll be back don't worry. All right, guys. See you later. Welcome back. Right, we're back in the truck again. So what are we up to this weekend? It's, what, 25th of September? Um, I think I've got myself ahead now. Uh, we're going away. We're doing all the National Trust um, runs and stuff all down south. Um, and the Overlander show. So, yeah, so today... We're heading off down to Hive Overland. Gonna check up on my mate, just go and catch up with him. I haven't seen him for a while. Um, just have a look at the truck, which is due to be finished probably in the next month. Um, and I've got loads of new updates with Hive. Um, it's all changing. Um, there's gonna be a new premises coming up. And don't already know if you want to watch the build go to always van adventure um, unimpressed Jeff and Pixie's channel and um, because he's doing more proper in-depth because he's building it and uh, once get confirmation off Jeff we'll, we'll probably do a bit of a review and uh, and uh, advertise the complete new package what he's uh, setting up and the new business so he's still like the team, but he's just one of them's going to, he wants to leave and just build his own truck now, ready to go away. Um, and the rest are all going to go in bigger. So yeah, it's looking good. They've already got a few builds lined up. So we'll give you more confirmation about that. I'm sure Jeff will say something about it as well. But um, I don't want to go advertising fully for him yet, because it's still early days. Um, so... But yeah, so we're going to go down, check out my mate, and if you notice, I'm on search and rescue training this weekend. So that's why I've got to put some fuel in the truck. <laughs> so I'm just getting the air tanks up now. Go get some fuel, at least it's only sort of about 15 mile away, 16 mile away. I've got to go do training, so it's not too bad. So it's Friday now, obviously, now we work. We only work three days a week. Um, we're on works drying up a bit with, with the world what's gone to shit so yeah I'm looking for 
outlets of money because this YouTube doesn't pay. <laughs> it really doesn't. I think in the last two months it's been about 25 quid a month. Um, I've just got a payment this morning and it's like, woof, but the hell, that's a bit of luck. I can go and put six, well, you only get paid out when you get six quid. If you're a YouTuber, you know. Um, and I got 60 quid and it was like, Jesus. Um, yeah, that was a bit of luck. So, but yeah, I've noticed my content. I've been looking at things and every video I put up and it's got a picture of my truck in it, I get thousands of views. If it's just a normal one with like, um, like the ones we've just been seeing with um, a stately owner or something in it, about 500. It's, it's weird. <laughs> so I don't know whether to just put a truck, put my truck in every single little picture in the corner. I think they all just want to see Millie, not, not me. <laughs> it's crazy YouTube. But like I say, I've said before, I don't do it. You know, it's not so much about money. It's nice at the moment for fuel. Um, but yeah, I don't follow, I don't chase the algorithms and stuff. I just load up, I just post up randomly. I'm, I'm, at the moment, it's a bit random. I normally used to do Saturday mornings. Uh, and I've just tried different dates. I might go back to Saturdays, actually. But uh, we'll see. Sunday night seems to be a wash, because I, I, when I switch on the YouTube, it's just like, bing, 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 everyone Sunday night. It takes ages to get through them all. So right, enough waffling, I'm going to get on and we'll catch you at High Beverland. Here we See go. 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 Dave's truck almost finished. This is one of the first dafts I've seen with a full torsion set up. Just put a bit of height on it. But uh, if you remember in the last videos, this was... Hang on, we'll just go... Seen this yellow truck, he's just bought it. Four before. Unbelievable. He, had, he wanted the trailer, but he had to buy the truck as well. 12 grand. Ridiculous. We won it. So we're tempting him to maybe build a box for it. Anyway, back to this beast. Yes, this is Dave who's been working here at Hive. Uh, this is his. This is the one we did with a £3,000 new tr you know, truck body off eBay. And then we cut it down, did it to size. So it looks taller, but it isn't. it's about the same size as my box. Um, but obviously, it's got a big lift on, because it's got the system on it, but it's got Minecraft windows in it. And it looks pretty smart. And that's a cheaper way of doing it. <laughs> he's got all the bits in there, doors and don't know if he's got a door but he's got about a week left and he'll be leaving but as you can see in there he's still framed it all roof and everything she's a solid beast so, and it's just past its uh, MOT so he's all fully registered. It's on the road. And this one's still here. Now we don't know what Jason's doing with this. This is a left hooker. Uh, ex Bowser truck. But it's still sat here, bless it. It's all still complete. It's just had, it's just started stripping it. And then things happened and he's not doing it now. It's just been sat here. So, but yeah, I know we did pay quite a bit for this off um, Crouches. It's, it is a good one, it is clean, very clean, so, yeah, God, we can't believe he got that, he's going to earn some pennies on that, so yeah, he's just got a bigger fuel tank to put on, it's fitted all new LED lights all round, Still loads of work to do on it. But it just shows you what you can do with a 3,000 quid box and that looks like a new box once that's painted. You wouldn't know. It's got cappings to put on. It's gone for new LED lights. That makes a big difference. There you go. That'll be it. So yeah, I'll leave the 
a bit of a tour on the other truck still on marks because it's there's a thousand jobs going on at once so it's like it's like a bomb site in there so they're stripping everything out this weekend whole garage because they're going to bring it out because they can't fit everything to the roof on it so because then it won't come out so they've got to drag it out and they're going to do the place up so we'll come back and do another little look but yeah follow hey, Jeff on always van adventure and he'll do updates on it right cup of time oh the joys of being near uh... where is he I can hear him we got the Lancaster flying over us Oh, there he is, I see him now. He's just come round once already. Get you up, dog. What are you doing? <laughs> this is Rox's boyfriend. Okay, right. Okay, we moved on. We're about four mile away now. My little park up for the night. We've been here before. It's huge big lay-by. It's right off the road. Road behind the edges, so it's lovely and quiet. Big farm down there, so you only get a few lorries now and again going down. But yeah, beautiful night. So this is doing me for tonight. It was just staying local because I've got to do uh, training this weekend. So, uh, right, guess to get some food.